Hi guys, so before I actually get to the demo of the version 2 rig and doing some demo poses, I'm just going to start off by saying that I think this rig is ideal for posing uh, nude human characters or even uh, human-like creatures and I wouldn't recommend uh, this particular rig uh, if you've got a bunch of sub-tools where you've created something that doesn't distort because the rig is definitely uh, going to be distorting quite a lot of the model. Uh, that's what it's intended for and that's why there's still going to be cleanup required at the end of uh, at the end of your posing session. So this rig is not perfect. Um, it doesn't include a lot of the awesome stuff that's in DAZ, uh, but this is a robust rig that's built directly into ZBrush that can speed up your workflow. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead, demo the version 2 rig, show you some additional stuff uh, that I've added on here and I still hope this comes in handy for you guys and that you can use it in your workflow uh, for posing your characters. Right, so let's get started. Hey guys, alright, so I thought I'll release a video just to demonstrate the version 2 rig. Uh, so basically uh, what I've done is I've gone back to that version 1 rig, I've adjusted some of the z-spheres to make it a little bit more accurate and I've added some additional z-spheres as well so you'll see here by the feet especially I've just positioned these a little bit more accurately like I've actually placed this z-sphere by the heel and added some additional joints here so if I go to rigging and I press R for rotate uh, by the way I'm just going to recommend when you guys actually do pose these characters you're probably going to want to use rotate 98% uh, of the time if you need to use move it's just to move something a little bit more uh, to get a little bit more of an accurate pose but rotate is going to be doing uh, most of the work so here by the foot I've added a uh, if I just bend this joint you'll see that we can actually pose uh, this foot now a little bit more accurately so again just a little bit a better range of motion now it looks like uh, that foot's actually on the ground and we've got the heel up here so just a little bit more accuracy with that posing for the feet and then uh, probably the most important part that I added oh wait before I get there I've also added some additional joints here by the abdomen uh, because there were some problems when I was trying to create uh, like seated poses uh, but it's not perfect you're still gonna get you're still gonna get errors guys like again there's still going to be areas like this that you're going to need to clean up that's the most important thing guys this rig's not perfect uh, it's not obviously not as good as Daz there's no like blend shapes or whatever or uh, weight painting involved here uh, it's just a just a quick posing rig that you guys can use to do iterative posing but you guys are definitely going to have to still do cleanup uh, to fix anatomical issues uh, but before without the support uh, by the abdomen uh, it used to break up a lot more in this area so it just breaks up a little bit less and then uh, the most important part was complete support for posing fingers so you guys can see uh, I've added onto the rig and added support for fingers so let me just frame this correctly so if I go here and then again guys just pay attention to how I rotate these you just need to know which joints you need to rotate in order to pose uh, but the more you play around with the rig, uh, the easier it'll become and you'll see, you'll get the hang of it eventually. So you can see I can rotate like this and there's a last joint just here by the tip of the finger again to make more accurate poses. But the fingers can now officially be posed uh, which I think will come in handy uh, for some of you guys that want to pose fingers because fingers are they're pretty tricky to pose even with transpose masking. So maybe this can save you guys a little bit of time if you want to do that uh, again obviously cleanup involved you're gonna have to go and re some anatomical uh, details back on you if you want it more accurate uh, but yep there we go full posing for fingers alright quickly guys I'm just gonna be showing you some errors I've actually encountered with this hand rig and how you can troubleshoot it you'll actually encounter some problems uh, when you try and pose these fingers sometimes so uh, the first rule is don't pose your fingers before you get your arms in a pose that you're happy with. Uh, so that's probably like the most important thing. So once you got in that pose, then you can pose your fingers. But here's an error that I've encountered. If I bring these shoulders down, right? Let's say we pose in a character like this. Now they're by his side. Everything's still fine, right? I can still pose these fingers. Right, there's not much problem. 
still looks anatomically correct uh, but if I decide to bring this hand up now you're gonna see that uh, even our rig has distorted this mesh like crazy like this hand is really messed up now so how I basically um, troubleshoot this if I want my arms uh, basically to be stretched out like this I don't bring my I don't bring the arms down I basically just rotate from the shoulder immediately and bring them out like that so you can see now there's not as much distortion and if I need to I can still uh, I can still rotate the wrist over here without it distorting too much so that's basically how you troubleshoot some of that uh, you can see that uh, again obviously it's still going to be clean up involved but uh, that was just one error I encountered posing uh, the, the hands and that's just one way uh, to get past that so yeah and that's the only time I ran into a problem with the fingers where it got really distorted so if you encounter that problem now you know how to troubleshoot it alright as you can see still some cleanup involved uh, but it is still just a quick way to pose your characters uh, using a rig instead of transpose. So again, you've got that complete support for posing fingers now, which I'm sure will come in handy. Maybe you've got a weapon, you want your character to hold a weapon. You can just do it a lot quicker uh, using the rig. And then I've also included uh, the, obviously a version 2 rig that doesn't have support for posing fingers so maybe if you guys have already sculpted your fingers in a pose uh, you can just come here it's basically just got this z-sphere for the hand you can just come in here and pose your hand so I thought I'd give you guys some option as well you can do complete posing for fingers or just have a single joint there uh, to pose and hand, a hand that you've already sculpted in a pose so that's about it guys uh, just some more refined joints and then I've also got an image over here let me just go uh, to my folder I've got this image uh, you'll see in version 1 it was just this guy that we had but I've given a front and side view so you can see where the joints are and in this this image basically comes in handy if you need to uh, reposition uh, these z-spheres on a custom character and you're not exactly sure where joints should be I try to make it a little bit easier by indicating exactly where I've placed joints like by the wrist and then there by the hand um, and all of that you guys can see and then I also just put a demonstration image over here showing that uh, we've got full uh, support for posing fingers now uh, with the version 2 rig uh, I don't know maybe before release maybe there'll be some minor adjustments that I'll make to this uh, I'm not entirely sure but for now it's basically the version 1 rig uh, enhanced with more support and a better range of motion in certain areas all right so I'll just do a demo doing a quick pose using this rig again uh, so you guys can see which joints I'm manipulating although I already have a full tutorial uh, that you guys can see how I use the rig to pose I do like four poses but I'll use this version 2 rig uh, it's not much different like I said just some additional support here but the posing process is exactly the same uh, you mainly just using rotate uh, to get your poses and it's about knowing uh, which angle you need to be looking at uh, with your mesh so you know exactly how to pose this and which joints you need to be rotating to get it a certain way whoops <laughs> that was a bit uh, crazy but yeah okay so I'll be doing a quick demo doing a pose right okay so I'm gonna start from a clean slate I'm gonna import my character that I want to pose so I'm just gonna go to my folder over here import my character drag him out onto the canvas All right and now I want to import the rig so in order to do that the rig is a tool we're going to load tool go to version 2 and again I've given you two options here you'll see we have basic no finger support but I want to use complete so I'll click on open and now there's our rig as a tool then we want to go to Z plugin transpose master and we want to click on store TM rig that's basically going to copy the rig into memory as you can see over there Z sphere rig copied go back to our character and then in order to use our character with a transpose master we need at least another sub tool so I'm just going to divide and just mask this area so mask go extract 
0 0.001, extract and accept. Right, so he's good to go. And then I can go back to uh, Transpose Master. I'm going to click on Z-Sphere Rig, click on T-Pose Mesh. It's going to send that over to T-Pose. And then from here, I'm going to click on Paste TM Rig. So it's going to load, take a little bit of a while. It's going to seem like ZBrush is frozen, but it hasn't. It's just loading the rig. And there we go. Uh, now, obviously, mine loads perfectly because it's been built for this character. If you've got a custom character, you're going to have to adjust uh, some of these Z-spheres. But again, if you go and look at my video tutorials, uh, you'll see that I, uh, I think it's for the version 1 video. I actually show you how to... Uh, fit this rig to custom characters. So it's exactly the same workflow guys. If you just watch that video, you'll see how I do it. Uh, but anyway, this is just to show you how I would pose. Then I go down to rigging. And one thing to keep in mind, if you actually want to see the uh, changes being adjusted to this character, you can go to adaptive skin and click on preview to see your actual character and then go out of preview. So let's go and do this. I'm not going to do a super hectic pose. Click on bind mesh. Uh, I'm going to turn on symmetry, rotate, let's maybe bring down the shoulders here, and uh, let's bring out these legs. Now again guys, you can see, just pay attention to which joints I'm moving, uh, but again, if you just go and look at my videos, I've got a complete posing tutorial if you want to see what joints I manipulate, because I do four poses. But anyway, let's see, I'm going to adjust here by the knee. Just to rotate these legs out a little bit like that. Uh, maybe here by the shoulders, bring it down a bit. Uh, let's. I'm going to turn off symmetry, rotate here by the neck. Maybe have him looking like that. And uh, let's see, maybe let's do something interesting with the leg here. Let's bring that up. Actually, I'm going to bring that back. Uh, again, I haven't planned this pose at all, so... I'm just doing this real time. Uh, maybe, maybe he's resting his foot like that, or something. And uh, for the wrist, now again we can pose these fingers. So maybe I want to bring that up, rotate. As you guys can see, again doing that for all these fingers, and just pay attention to which joints. I'm uh, playing around with guys, uh, but again, it, it's really it's really easy to use if you know which joints uh, you need to be manipulating. But as you can see, I just stay in rotate, and that's all you need. You only need rotate for doing this. Um, if you use move, it tends to really really mess up the anatomy, and the anatomy already needs clean up after this. So, you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend uh, using uh, the uh, the move tool too much. Uh, but again, just to show you guys, you can pose your fingers. So maybe, maybe he had a weapon in this hand or something there, but just to show you guys, uh, that was just one hand posed. It's that simple. If I wanted to pose the torso, I just click here and I'd rotate from here first. You can rotate from up here. So well. we've got uh, manipulators for the chest. If that's something you need to use, Maybe rotate like that. Maybe bring that up a little bit. You can see, you can do a lot of iterative posing. So, yeah. There you go. And then, um, that's how you pose, guys. Now, if I want, again, if I want to see a preview, I'll go to Adaptive, click on Preview, just to see what we've been doing here. But as you can see, like I said, it's not perfect, guys. You're definitely going to have to come back here when you're out of this and just uh, fix the anatomical issues. But it still speeds up your workflow uh, for posing. So this pose isn't too hectic. It's not too dynamic. Uh, but it is just demonstrating it. You can see the fingers got messed up there a bit. So I'd have to rotate that. I'd have to go back into rigging. Oops. Um have to go back into rigging and uh, just make sure that we play around with these different options to get something. Uh, it can create a base that we can start sculpting on top of uh, once we're done with it. And again, in the other videos, I show you how we start with layers. So just look for my first 
uh, version 1 video which basically is probably the most in-depth tutorial covering the rig over here I'm just showing you quickly how I pose with the V2 rig uh, but that first tutorial is very in-depth it shows you how I set up layers on how, and shows you how we can go back and forth to sculpt on T-pose and then go to pose and we can go back and forth uh, doing that and it creates a really interesting workflow so definitely go watch that video this was just a quick demo using the v2 rig to show you guys uh, some improvements uh, that I've made to it and then again from here what I would do is highly recommend it I would actually save this pose as a tool so I go to save as tool and the reason why I'm doing that is uh, once you go out of transpose so once I click on that this rig is going to be lost if you don't save it so save that in case you ever want to come back and maybe adjust this pose. Uh, it's completely up to you guys. Uh, but yeah, really simple to use. Um, robust tool, no masking. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, maybe it can save you guys a couple clicks in the long term. Alright. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the tutorial. And stay tuned for some more tutorials. And I hope this really comes in handy for you guys. Alright, thank you. Goodbye.